What's going on guys? I'm a regular guy with the Regular Guy Firearms channel. Thanks for watching. Now today we are going to talk about holsters again. Now in my last holster review I wasn't exactly kind um, to Kentucky Kydex and that's because they deserved it. This holster company is not them. This is Smoky Mountain Concealment. Now full disclosure here um, I have been in direct contact with the owner of um, Smoky Mountain Concealment and he sent me um, a couple of products to directly review and again it's one of those dudes uh, just like Tactical Gear Lines not too far back that sent me a product and threw himself to the wolves saying review it tell us the truth what do you think all that jazz right now generally speaking as far as use for a holster there's not much to speak about okay it's a thing that holds a pistol okay it's as simple as that however there are little things involved in in uh, a holsters development or uh, manufacturing process that can really take um, a, a very different turn as far as what's usable and what's dangerous to the actual user. First and foremost, in the last review that I did, right, um, you guys saw that there was a massive amount of flex in um, that holster. Like, for instance, when I pressed on the opening for it, it would collapse all the way together, right? In order to get close to that, I need to put two hands on it and physically put a lot of of pressure on it to get it to flex as much so it doesn't give as well uh, part of that has to do with um, uh, their manufacturing and stuff like that which I personally really like because making a kydex holster is not the same as heat treating quote unquote your kydex with your freaking easy bake oven around a blue gun and calling it good it's simply not it's simply not that and there are a lot of good holster companies out there, and there's a lot of garage holster companies out there. Uh, some of the garage companies are pretty good. Others really don't pay attention to detail in a way that a lot of people would like or not like. Now, personally, I like the, uh, what, the, what Smoky Mountain does as far as their holster making simply because they do actually pay attention to detail. And rather than using a press, they use... Um, very generalizing, very um, broad. They use a, um, a vacuum methodology to shape their holsters around their molds um, while the kydex itself is heated up and then they properly heat treat it, send it out the door. Okay, as well as providing things like ride height adjustment, okay, because that's one of a few, okay, and this is on the lower one so that it rides a little bit higher and you can actually see that there's another option to make the gun ride lower. I personally prefer a little bit higher ride and that's good to go. Um, varying uh, belt width uh, or varying sized loops or belt loops for varying sized belts. Um, I went with inch and a half uh, simply because that's what I, I run around with. and. What's also kind of neat is that there's also a couple other things that they do for the user. Um, first and foremost, I don't even know what to call this, okay? But this little piece that's added onto it, okay, helps keep the gun centered up, and it helps keep the gun from moving around a whole lot, and it helps your, and it helps you with being able to conceal the holster a little bit better because it is occupying a little bit more space in the pants and your pants will mold around the pistol uh, the pistol holster a little bit better, making it, e making it slightly easier to conceal, and it actually forces it to move a little bit less, which I personally really dig, because everyone who's carried a holster appendix understands that movement with a pistol that's got a light on it can be a pain in the ass sometimes. Now, appendix holsters isn't all they make, but I, I have this one, so I'm going to talk about this one. Okay. Additionally... Um, some guys may or may not be aware of the little foam wedges that end up on the insides of a lot of holsters. That works for some guys and it doesn't for others, but there is a Velcro panel on here to accept one of those for those of you that use them. Okay, As well as, there's a lot of different screws that help you with your retention. And this is really important on something like a light bearing holster. Because quite unlike the, the, uh, the previous holster review I did, where there was one screw that helped you out with retention, here there are several to help bolt down around 
uh, the light, which is where you get your retention on a light-bearing holster. Okay, so personally, as far as this review is concerned, I, I have um, several holsters from them now. Um, I'm actually very pleased with uh, Smoky Mountain Concealment. It's a, it's a small company, which I'm really glad is doing really well with stuff like this because it's not that common to see this level of detail out of a little company. Okay, so now as far as availability, availability is concerned, um, as far as this holster itself, uh, you guys will notice that this is that the uh, slide length on this holster is even with a TLR1, and that's not the case for a Glock 19. This is made for um, the long slide Glock because dudes aware that I use a lot of different um, uh, models um, in in nine millimeter. So he got basically the one size that fits all, but he does make a Glock 19 um, version for this. Um, as far as this individual holster. Uh, this is this is basically so new on their line that they haven't um, added it onto their website yet. You still have to email them for that. But uh, it's it really is as simple as that. Now, um, as far as the rest of their website is concerned, there's a lot of standard stuff that's out there with them. So you can go ahead and peruse around and and ask them for what you need. Okay, because this is a small company, and and a dig that I have against them currently is that they don't have. A gigantic number of options like I threw several different um, um, requests uh, one was a replacement M&P holster that that will accept an RMR and uh, an X300 ultra that I that I also have that he just doesn't have the molds for you know same thing for the CZS P01 tactical that I have again not the same thing or a Walther PPQ I asked that also you know, um, so start pounding them with stuff that you'd like simply because um, holster variety for a lot of different holster companies and good ones is kind of rare. And that, that is one dig that I have against this company is that there needs to be more of this stuff out there so that you can get all of the little niches that people are looking for. Um, however, though, those of you that are running around with locks and stuff like that, go ahead and, and help them out. Now, here's the thing also as far as retention. Okay, as far as retention, to me, out of box, um, there is an adequate amount of retention because I can sit here and I can and I can shake on this guy, and it's not going to try and come out. But if I really go on it, it's going to come out. Now it's a good balance for me because there needs to be a balance between positive retention and speediness because if um, it's too loose, it's liable to fall out when you when you're just doing your your regular day-to-day -day stuff but if it's too tight you start hurting yourself so it's a it's a good out of the box um, uh, amount of retention because I'm sitting here and I'm pulling on it and I'm pulling on it and it'll start to break if I put enough tension on it and to me it's the right amount cool thing though there's plenty of adjustment in the retention so I'm happy with that now what I would encourage you guys to do um, is to check out Smoky Mountain Concealment, see what they have on offer, beat him to death with requests for other stuff because he's not going to ignore money, uh, you know, just like any other company. But let me know what you guys think. You know, um, as far as holster companies are concerned, there's 10 million of them, but I like these guys. I may be ordering uh, more stuff from them in, in the process, um, but because because of the lack of options and there are there is a lack of like a gigantic array of options um, I still have to go to other holster companies so you know stuff like uh, squared away customs and stuff I'm gonna have I had to go to for the SPL one so you know let me know what you guys think in the comments below and remember a regular guy's firearm is the last defense against tyranny be easy so glad I didn't have to shoot this holster